Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'd like to talk about security, namely the secure screen technology built into the Ledger Stacks and the Ledger Flex. Now you may be wondering, isn't the device secure? What difference does it make whether the screen is secure or not? Well, it makes a big difference, and I'd like to explain to you exactly what this technology entails and what it means for you. All right, so I'm going to link to this article here where they go into an in-depth description of the secure screen technology. But I'd like to tell you a little personal anecdote. When I went to the Nashville Bitcoin conference this year, I had a chance to sort of hang out with the guys from Ledger, uh, Ian Rogers and Charles Gurrier. And I even had a few encounters with Pascal, the CEO. I actually saw him downtown Nashville on the street when I was with my family. But I wanted to tell you a little story I heard from Ian, and he wasn't trying to convince me of anything. Uh, it was just came up during conversation. And that is when they first took delivery of the screens, the organic active TFT screens for the original batch of the Ledger Stacks, the manufacturer included drivers for them. Uh, if you're not familiar, a driver is a piece of software that uh, interfaces with the program to drive uh, a piece of hardware like a printer driver, or in this case, a screen driver. Well, Ledger, uh, the guys at Ledger just kind of laughed and threw those away. They said, we're not going to be using any drivers on this device. We're going to power the screen directly from the software that runs on the secure element chip. And that's what they did. So basically, a hardware device should do three things. First of all, it should be able to generate a secure and random private key in the secure element chip. Number two, it should be able to do cryptographic operations within that chip. And number three, you should be able to view your confirmations on a secure screen. So those three elements are all present on the Ledger Stacks and the Ledger Flex. So what's the, how is that different from the way other hardware wallets work? Well, uh, there are some hardware wallets out there that really don't have screens. They basically just interface with your phone. Um, and that's not as secure as it could be. Also, a lot of hardware devices use what's called an MCU chip. Now, uh, an MCU chip is just uh, an acronym for a microcontroller unit. So basically what happens is these devices may have a secure element chip where the private key is stored, but when it comes to actually doing transactions or driving the screen, those functions are offloaded to an MCU. Now, an MCU is something that Ian from Ledger says is the same thing you might find in your toaster or your TV remote control. Um, it does the job, but is it really secure? The Ledger Stacks and the Ledger Flex keep all of the functionality on the secure element chip. They're one of the few companies that actually have a programmable smart card. And that's what drives the Ledger Stacks and Flex. Now, the Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Nano S Plus also have secure screens, but the Ledger Flex and the Ledger Stacks are touch screens, and they're much easier to use. Also, in this support article that I'm going to link down below are some examples of typical hacks that can occur between a secure operating system and the screen itself. So it's vitally important that when you're doing cryptographic operations on a crypto hardware wallet, that you can be sure that ex what you see on the screen is exactly what you're approving on the device. And so Ledger explains how the secure screen technology prevents these types of hacks from occurring 
on Ledger devices. I invite you to check out this article and find out more about what secure screen technology is all about and why it works in your favor and why the Ledger stacks and flex are some of the most secure touchscreen devices on the market today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.